Welcome to the exercise, working with trust structures. So, and before we start obtaining the detailed drawings of our previously completed structure, let's take a closer look at the subject of trust structures and their modeling. Or the type of components, we could use for creating a structure such as this, and which may belong to a storehouse or similar. To begin with, worth mentioning that we find several tools, or methods for obtaining these type of components. So and to begin with, what we can see in this area, is precisely the layout of the truss. And which is composed by these lines. Or those pertaining to the top and bottom cord. And those pertaining to the web. And which are being organized into two general groups. Or the right, and the left group. As an example, let's add a web component, to one of these groups. Here we've then a new design or layout for the truss beam. So, and in this particular way, we could adjust the truss according to our design needs. Adding or removing components, if need be. Nonetheless, it's true that whether we can use this particular method, depends on the amount of patterns, and particular bars distribution, present across the structure. For instance, and regarding this particular...